I think that UFC 2 might be, in my opinion, like if you were to have a listing of the most violent UFCs, UFC 2, if it's not number one, it's in that top three. Like it is, whatever UFC 1 may have been, UFC 2 in terms of overall violence and like helpless fighters that the fight needs to get stopped and it continues going, man, it's like you'll find yourself yelling at the TV if you watch. It's 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 a pretty scary event to to watch from a safety perspective. Well, John couldn't stop the fights. John McCarthy had no had no authority to stop the fight. He wanted to stop the fights, and uh, there were there the only way that you could stop it was if your corner threw in the towel or okay. if you took out. Okay, so that brings me to my other question. So, or you brought up Orlando Wade. Orlando Wade. In the beginning, his first fight, which was not aired, but they showed the highlights of it, was against Robert Lucarelli. Robert Lucarelli was kind of a bigger guy. And Orlando Waite, I think he drops him more than one time. And this guy's kind of like on the ground, flopping around, trying to get his bearings. Like there's no way the fight should have been stopped. And Big John is kind of hesitating at stopping it, but then looking outside the ring. And hesitating while Orlando Wait is just pounding on this guy's spine and really, like, really working him over. Um, there's another fight, like, uh, like, like, like uh, with yours, or, or no, with, with Hanneker and um, I think Thaddeus Lester lost to Frank Hanneker. And he does the same thing then. And then there's like a change. Was there somebody assigned outside the ring with a towel where Big John would look at them and demand that they throw the towel in? Because something happened in that event from the beginning, and, and like we're at the midpoint, it changed. I don't know. Uh, the corner had the towel for each fighter, and the corner was the only ones that had a towel to throw in. So they, they were the, the, the corner people. There, there was no there was no official of the UFC that had anything to do with it. It was just the wow. corner. You, well, and, and I, I know I probably wasn't the only one, but I told my corner, if you throw in the towel and I make it out of this thing, don't let me find you. Because uh, I didn't want him to throw in a towel. I wanted to be in charge of that. I wanted to, if the, if the fight was going to stop, I wanted to be in charge of that. You know, for a variety of reasons. First of all, you know, I wanted to have that on me. Uh, second of all, I didn't want my corner to feel like oh man i shouldn't have thrown in that towel i maybe cost him a chance you know i don't want to put that on them um you know i get that is the corner's job you know to, yeah, but, to, to look out for the fighter but back in those days you know i i, I just for me personally i i didn't i didn't want to well, well miguel i think where this comes down to is fred is a man of honor like he's you know, carries himself with pride, lifelong martial artist with traditional martial arts. And he didn't, you know, he, there's a bit of macho to, you know, to when, when you're going in there in, in, in UFC two. And the thing is, it's like, yeah. it, it's almost, it, it was needed. It was like the referee needed some leeway or why even have a referee? Do you know what I mean? Other than to kind of break people up. Exactly. And that's what John said. John said, there's no reason for me to be even in here. And John refused to do another event unless they changed that. And they did change it because of, uh, of the, of, of what happened at the event. And because of John's insistence that, it, you know, this, this is crazy. If you don't give the referee, whoever it is, whether it's him or anybody else, if you don't give the referee and they're the authority to stop a fight, it's, it's something terrible is going to happen because, Obviously, I can't believe it didn't happen. 